843. Jane's Addiction. I'm a huge Jane's fan. Amazing. Nice Wondering sound. who it is? Of course, it's Susie Wall <laughs> from Chatelaine. Chatelaine on newsstands. And of course, next issue, we keep looking at this June cover with the juicy burger on oh it. I'm gosh. starving now. So good. Chatelaine.com. Um, they've got some great fashion features right now, a couple of which inspired my segment today. Um, how to wear a white t shirt to work with sneakers, either together or separately, without getting fired if it's not casual Fridays. Love this. Right? That's my uniform. That's my jam. Well, here's the thing. Well, because you and I operate in a different atmosphere, though, right? right? You know, I was walking around sort of the business district downtown, and I'm like, who are all these people? Look amazing. These women. <laughs> like, I work around a bunch of clowns. So, <laughs> no, not you. Am I the clown? <laughs> no, but in fashion and media, you can get away with so much. We can. So, anyways, I thought about the white t shirt and how to stretch it through, because it used to be sort of the thing that you would pull out of your closet just because you couldn't figure out how else to finish the outfit. That okay. has changed. I'm guilty of that. Right? But no, now it's like its own hero piece. So whether you spend $6 on sale at Joe Fresh or $99 at James Purse, they're both going to age the same. They're both going to get salad dressing oil on them when you're having dinner. You're going to so, fry bacon in them. And right? The, yeah. Work within no, a flattering sil silhouette and right. work within your budget. So first up, we have a photo. I believe this is my black skirt girl. Black and white. Such a fresh combination. Now I'd tuck in the shirt if I was going into some fancy downtown office, but doesn't she look great? I kind of like the little front tucky as well, which you've taught us with the more flouncy outfit, right? especially if you're petite so it doesn't take you over. But that looks stylish. Doesn't she look great? Black yeah. and white. As we know in winter, we're always talking about the black and white combo. It's a fresh combo for spring. Don't be afraid of a black skirt, too, just because the sun is shining. The accessories are a big deal there as well. Those are some fine shoes and a really nice clutch purse. So yeah. dressing it up. And speaking of that, she can flip over to Bow Bay or somewhere cool for dinner with her girlfriends afterwards. I'm no there problem. Friday. I Very stylish. Place. Okay, Very so stylish. next up, I think I've got my floral girl. Now, this is an outfit that could look a little pretentious if she had on a big fancy blouse with bows and ruffles and all sorts of things. So it's almost meeting in the middle. So she can wear this to work. I wouldn't choose those shoes to work personally. I'd go with more of like a almost a thicker leather booty, maybe something in a tan um, or a sneaker. Uh, but she looks great, right? And she can go between a garden party, an office, and an evening on the town. I would flip out, maybe add a little jacket, a little bolero, some shrunken kind of a blazer on top um, in an ivory or a tan for, for evening, and she's ready to go. But florals and these types of portrait silhouettes are really hot in the skirt. But doesn't that look fresh? It does. It really does look fresh. I agree with you on the shoes, though. Too much toe at work. Too much toe. Too, too much Jennifer Aniston. Too strappy strappy. Right. Next up, I've got Carrie Russell, I think. I love her style. She's been looking amazing lately, right? So I love the look of white against an animal print. Um, also a really fresh combination, white animal print and red. A red shoe would mm. look really elegant and cool and sort of Victoria Beckham-y, fashion forward. Don't be afraid of different necklines. Here's almost like a scoopy V. I also love the classic crew. Um, a lot of people think it's too tomboy or it's too off-duty. I dig it, and I love just a perfect crisp V as well. Uh, this skirt may be a little short for some office environments, um, but again, she looks great and the combination is really strong. Now, speaking of dressing down, the sneaker, you know I'm obsessed. You're a little bit obsessed. Right? With I the love white that about wheels. you. Yeah. So these are Jack Purcells. Uh, I think we've got uh, our first photo of the sneaker is my girl, my LBD. Okay, so here's how sneaker the sneakers trend happened. Off-duty models. Places like Milan and Paris, after they've come off the runway, they don't want to wear heels anymore, they throw on their sneaks, and they look around in these cities in which they're working, and they see stylish women like this who are rocking sneakers with really random outfits. This is a dress you could wear to a formal black tie gala downtown. And she has met in the middle by folding in white trainers and a cool little backpack. So here the trainer is credited with giving new life into parts of her wardrobe she would normally not justify wearing to work. And this is a tip that you have given us in the past here on this segment because we all have a closet full of little floral dresses that are yeah. too dressy for what we actually want to wear. But oh, throw that comfy jersey dress on with the little sneaks, boom. We're so off cute. to the barbecue. Exactly. And yeah. speaking of comfy jersey dress, the next piece is very cool because it's asymmetric, but she looks so comfortable. Love it. And cool. I love that this is kind of monochrome. It's marled a little bit. But again, I think she's actually wearing Jack Purcells and she's on her way somewhere. Clearly, she's fashionable, you know, fashion forward. But you could pull that off in a boardroom, no problem. And Work it's it like age a boss. It's age appropriate, yeah, right? She's in her 40s, Everybody. that woman. Rocking Great, it. Great, right? And also, those are, a lot of those are via Pinterest, by the way. So. Susie Wells style, Chatelaine on next issue and newsstands right now pick up the June issue we're tearing pages out of Chatelaine for you here on Yay. Breakfast Television every Wednesday at 8:40. Thanks Suze. Thank you.